With new cameras like the Sony Alpha 7R Mark V being introduced to the market with high resolution stills and 8K video, it's probably no surprise that media storage needs are changing. For years now, I've been using Sony's tough line of SD memory cards, which are known not only for being fast with speeds up to 300 megabytes per second, but also for being water and dust proof, bend resistant, and impact resistant for drops up to 16 feet. Some of Sony's newer cameras like the Alpha 1, the FX3, and the Alpha 7 R5, just to name a few, they all have the option of using their latest tough line of CF Express Type A cards, which offer insanely fast speeds. Their 80 gigabyte and 160 gigabyte cards, which have been available for some time, have an 800 megabyte per second read speed and a 700 megabyte per second write speed. If you look closely at these cards, you'll notice this clapper board icon with a number on it. This is a new specification called VPG, which stands for Video Performance Guarantee. Cards with this designation are optimized for continuous high bandwidth data writing. These CF Express Type A cards have a VPG rating of 400, so you'll get a minimum of 400 megabytes per second performance, which is perfect for high bitrate video shooting. These CF Express Type A cards give you faster buffer clearance when you're doing high speed shooting, and it allows you to shoot in all of the highest video quality modes that your specific camera offers. Recently, Sony has expanded the lineup to now include 320 gigabyte and 640 gigabyte options. I've been using these for my latest video projects, and I love having the ability to shoot the entire day using a mix of 4K24, 4K60, and even 8K video resolutions without having to change out my cards as often. Pair up these cards with Sony's MRW G2 card reader, and you'll be able to transfer data via super speed USB 3.2 up to 10 gigabits per second. If you're wanting to get the best photo and video performance out of your newer Sony cameras that offer a CF Express Type A slot, then these cards are going to be the very best options that you can get. If you want more details on these cards, check out the link in the description of this video. While you're there, be sure to subscribe to the channel as we have new videos releasing every single week. Now, if you wanna learn more about memory cards and what all the writing on the memory cards means, check out the video that you see here on the screen. I'll see you there.